Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to listen to some mumbly jumbly. All the way from St. Albans, your host for tonight, Abs the Magic, Super Coach Godfather. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining. Today's episode, we're going to talk about someone that we should never be talking about. <laughs> He's on my never again list. He's been on there 10 times. He's on there again, and we're still talking about him. What's going on? Just calm it down. Okay, we're going to talk about Lockie Whitfield. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm talking about him. But he's back in favour again. Back in flavour as well. Now, it, well, it's been announced that he's going to be playing. It's been confirmed as well that he's, he's going to be playing in defence. Off half-back, my favourite role. I can't believe this. So, um, we're going to talk about him. Because he had a couple of good years of half-back. Uh, can he do it again? Uh, he's been, uh, let me show you some things that it's going to maybe maybe persuade you. I don't want to do this to you. I don't want to torture you like this, but just come down. I'm going to have to torture you again. Okay, but before we do that, we have a few announcements. Okay, the first announcement today is going to be about Jacob Mills, a young man uh, who's who's actually been sick for nine years. I'm so sorry to hear about this um, it's for someone so young as well. Uh, I hope you get well soon, Jacob. Um, I'm very, um, very happy that you messaged me because uh, it says here he's um, uh, he's been sick for nine years, but my videos help him and it cheer him up. Now that is huge, and um, it makes my channel worthwhile just just to hear this, just to hear that it cheers you up. If I can cheer up one person uh, from one thousand of my videos, that that's all I need. Uh, I'm blessed, and, and thank you, Jacob, for this message. Um, you made my day by just saying this. And then, yeah, we're going to follow Jacob's team. He actually changed his team name because his team name, I can't even announce it on YouTube because I'll get, I'll get banned. It was, uh, you know, the movie, The Chainsaw, uh, you know, the ending starts with M. Well, that M word was in his words. I can't, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to use that word. So he changed it. He changed it. And now he's made it. What's he called it now? Let's see. Let's have a look. He's called it Midnight Mass. Before it was Midnight Mass. You know what I'm talking about. Just calm it down. Anyway, it's midnight mass. We're gonna we're gonna follow him now. We're gonna we're gonna follow his progress, and let's wish him top ten this year. Just calm it down. Top ten for you. We have a, another announcement, and we're following the progress of the Jock Reynolds site. And let's let's have a look what's happening, guys. <laughs> let's let's take a quick look. Now, this video. Remember, we made this little three minute video. Well, when you go into here, where is it? Into the Jock Reynolds side. We, we're after 1,000 subscribers. How many have we got so far? Let's have a look. We're at 963. I only need 37 more. We've done it. Now, you watch this. I'm not sure if you have watched this video yet, but you should be. You should have watched this video by now. It's a, it's my secrets revealed. Now, you need to know my secrets, okay? Uh, and we're going to delete these videos very soon once all of them are revealed. Now, part two is going to come out when we get 37 more subs, okay? Now, in part two, I'm going to show you how to cheat. We're, we're going to do this uh, the cheating way, okay? You can't win a super coach fairly. You need to cheat. That's how you win it. It's just calm it down. So we're going to cheat. I'm going to show you how to cheat, okay? And um, But we're going to cheat fairly, all right? It's a fair cheat, okay? Anyway, so that's that was my uh, our announcement. Let's continue with Lucky Whitfield. Okay, we got a footy wire. And Lockie Whitfield, uh, average is 86, all right? Now, I posted a video, all my secrets, on the Jock Reynolds site, all right? Now, some things work out and some things don't, okay? Sometimes, summertimes, it works out. Now, with Lockie Whitfield last year, I had him in my team. He was in defense. It was cheap. 502K, that's not cheap. It's cheaper this year. But anyway, he was cheap. Supposedly, it was a bargain, <laughs> just coming down. Anyway, his first round, he scored 73. I got rid of him after one round. One game, <laughs> he was gone. <laughs> he didn't last in my team. I didn't like what I saw. I didn't like his role. And then the following week, he scored 70, which was, it was a good choice. And he, he backed it up for 96, 92, 73, 60. I didn't hold him. up. One game, I got rid of him. Now, remember I told you, well, if you watched that video, you would know that I told you, I don't wait. I make my decisions straight away. 
I don't need to torture myself to watch something twice. I just have to watch it once. I, already, I know what I'm after. Okay, I know the player that I'm after. If I don't like what I see, it's, it's gone. He's gone ski. It's just come at the end. It's gone. So anyway, last year, I got rid of Lockie Whitfield after one game. Now, his scores don't show much. However, some of his scores do, like 118, 101, 103, 96. Again, injured, 46 and injured. Back to, he's got potential, all right? So w- w- what is what is he, like, he didn't even crack 100 here. So what was he doing last year? We're going to find out. But before we do, let's take a look at 2019. What happened in 2019? He averaged 111 in 2019. Now, 2019, look at these scores. 105, 123, 152, 137, had a bad game, 86, got injured again, 45, came back, scored a 170, 115, got injured again, scored 65, came back, 101, 119, 90, which is a bad score for him, 109, 159, he's a scoring machine, so at 400 and how many, 473k, if you're going to get scores like this, uh, it's going to be hard not to get him in your team. Now, the problem for, look, the problem we have with Lockie Whitfield, if you don't start him, you're never going to bring him in. And if you don't and if you don't start him and he starts like this, what are you going to do? You're going to pull your hair out is what you're going to do. You're going to go, oh, my God, I can't watch this. That's what's going to happen. So let's have a look what he did last year and let's look at what he did at 2019 to work out how he got these scores. Okay, we're going to go into kick-ins, okay, back into DFS Australia, the number one stats uh, website in the world, okay, this is the best. Now, let's have a look, GWS, kick-ins, okay, what has Lucky Whitfield done? Now, he had kick-ins, actually, he's done, had a few kick-ins, round one, two, three, probably maximum was three, then two each. Sharing them with uh, Isaac Cumming, but um, not scoring that well. <laughs> okay, now let's have a look what he did in twenty. Okay, we can't. <laughs> That's all we got. We only have twenty twenty or twenty twenty one. Let's have a look. We don't have twenty nineteen. Twenty twenty one. Towards the end, he had a lot of kick ins as well. Uh, quite a bit. Nine, t- uh, four, six, four, three. But then again, Isaac Cumming is still taking more of them. Okay, you can see he has 13, 3, 2. Well, then no, they're sharing it. I don't know. They must have fights over it. They must be fighting to see who takes the kick in. They, want to, they play super coaches run. They want to have more points from each other. So I don't know who takes more kick ins. Just calm it down. Anyway, let's continue. So I did the whole scenario. I went for the, all these charts, but I forgot to press record the stupid, silly dum dum. I can't believe I did that. So I'm gonna have to do this all over again. <laughs> I don't. I don't like doing this twice. Okay. Anyway, let's start again. Now, well, you're not starting again. I'm starting again. Or right? you haven't even seen this. Okay. Well, listen. Now I know what I'm gonna talk about. Now, 2022. All right. Why was his score so low? Started half back flank. What happened? Now, that's on a half-back flank, okay? That's starting half-back flank, getting a couple of touches, but he's more along the wings, midfield. So his position is unknown. Okay, round two. So that was round, that was round one. This is round two. This is more of a half-back flank, but it's more in the midfield, but in a defensive role. So it's not a bad role, but it's not half-back flank, but it's actually not a bad role, but he just didn't get much of the ball. He didn't demand it as much. Uh, let's go to uh, round three. Again, uh, it's half-back roll, but he's not getting much touches, all right? It, it, he's out of form, or he's not getting much touch. Something wrong. It's not It's not the Whitfield that we know. There's something wrong with him. Okay, let's continue. What's wrong with him? Started half-back flank. Oh, this is a better game. Had, had more touches. This is, a, this is just under 100, this score. And um, it's a pass, but... It's not really a Whitfield map that I know. All right, this game is called 73, halfback flank, and that's nowhere near halfback flank. He's in nowhere, he's in no man's land. He doesn't, he doesn't even know where he's playing. Uh, the poor Tink. He's gone to the wing. He's stuck on that wing now. All right, let's continue. Now, I know Whitfield in 2019 grand final and, and Richmond don't tag. They tagged Whitfield. That's how good, that's how influential he was. That 2019 season, Richmond went in and actually tagged him. Um, 
now again, this is no good. The maps are no good. See, the problem, the problem of 2022 is he was in no man's land. The coach just put him anywhere. The, the coach he put players, all the players anywhere. I don't think the coach knew where the players were playing. Now, this is a halfback role, which is more of a wing role. Two wings, both wings. He's running everywhere. And um, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the role that we want, all right? Well, he did score 94 that game. He's more on the wing. So he's playing on the wing. Uh, yeah, all right, let's go to another year, all right? Let's go all the way down to 2019, all right? This is the... If we're going to pick up Whitfield this year, we're going to pick him based on what he did in 2019, all right? We're not going to pick him up pick him up based on what he did last year. So the question now is, is he going to repeat what he did in 2019? Now, that's the, that's the question. Now, let's have a look what he did in 2019. All right, halfback role, and there is a halfback role, all right? And But he does move a lot, like... He's one of these, um, he's got jelly beans, you know, he doesn't, doesn't stop. He demands the ball, he runs, he's an attacking player, all right? And, and, and GWS liked the ball in his hands. So it, it, is, it is impressive that the, the amount of times he gets the ball, that's, that's a 123, but he played on the wing that game. Again, in round, uh, round three here, he's on the wing again, but he's everywhere. And look at look at the possessions, the touches. He's everywhere. This is a good role, but he's not going to play. He's going to play more on a half back role this year, apparently. So we're going to find out what his role is. We don't know. Like here we go. He's a one fifty two map. This game is called one fifty two. Where was he? Again, actually more of a half back role. You can see here. This is a good role. This, this is a very good role. This is a Picasso. All right, half back attacking half back. All right, very attacking, running everywhere. Uh, this is very good. So we want that role. All right, the following week. Again, halfback but attacking. Uh, it's not really a halfback role. He's pretty much everywhere, but he's halfback. So I don't know if they're going to play a seven-man defense and he's a loose and he's just going to run around. That could be a possibility. We've got to see his role in the preseason, but uh, this looks good. Uh, now, this, this this week he scored 86. Sat in the back pocket. And didn't really stay in the back pocket. Probably didn't get as much ball. More again, he's running everywhere. More even in the forward line. So this is not a back pocket. It's not a half back either. Like when you see a player take three touches in a forward line, he's on a half back. All right. Now the following week, I forgot where I'm at. Now we're about here somewhere. He got injured. Then then this week he scored a 170. This is a 170. And again, half back, midfield, wings. He had 40 touches this game. 40 touches. If you can get 40 touches every week, <laughs> oh my God, he's going to be captain. But um, he's not going to get 40 touches every week. But it's it's promising. All right, let's go to the final verdict. My final verdict coming up. Okay, and here are my thoughts now, okay? Now, I think he's at 470k, all right? So the, the price is awkward. Oh, wrong button. My buttons, I can't actually see them. That's why when I, when I type, I actually don't have... But, uh, Things on my button, they're all invisible because um, my fingerprints have covered everything. Anyway, he's at 470k. That's an awkward price. So you're getting him as a keeper. All right? That's, you have to get that in your head. You're getting him. If you're going to get him, he's a keeper. All right? So the question is then, is he a keeper? All right? That's the question. Is he a keeper? Well, let's continue. Now, next next. Problem. Well, it's not a problem. It probably could be a, a non-problem. Non but the next thing to keep in, consider is his position in Supercoach is as a midfielder only. All right, so there's only a midfielder in Supercoach. So in round six, he'll get DPP. Okay. Now, would you pick him up in round six if, he, if he's going at, uh, let's say he's going at um, 120, all right? Would you pick him up? In round six, he'll be maybe if he's going at one twenty, he's going to cost you roughly about six hundred k in round six, or maybe five fifty k on his way up to six hundred. So would you get him? Now, considering his injury concern, when you get him, is he going to get injured, and then you're going to have to trade him out? So that's two trades gone. So here's the risk now. Uh, this is this is the problem. All right, either either you start. 
You start with him and waste one trade. That's considering he may get injured or considering you don't like him, okay? There's two things there. And um, last year, I didn't like him, so I traded him out after one game. So you may not like him either and trade him out after one game. But you have to act quick. You don't wait, all right? You just got to see the roll. So do you want to uh, risk that? And the next problem is if you watch him, if you watch and see what you like, do you risk two trades because you might have to trade him out if he gets injured. So then you, uh, it's a it's a lose lose situation here. <laughs> uh, so um, it's a tough one. All right. Now you got to watch him in the preseason. What, uh, like watch him close. Okay. Once I learn how to spell one day, watch him. I think I failed kindergarten. I think I did kindergarten six years in a row when I still couldn't spell. All right, watch him close. And um, look at his role. See the touches. See if they de see if he's demanding the ball. You want to see him demanding the ball, okay? Demanding ball. You want to see him running because that's, that's his game. When he's doing that, that means you've got the old Lockie Whitfield back. If he stays back, has no confidence, doesn't run, doesn't demand the, doesn't demand the ball, this is uh, the... Last year's Whitfield, and and um, unfortunately, that's uh, that's not good. But you got, you also got to consider one more factor. I'm going to show you. Now we go to the serious super coach group. Okay, <laughs> one of my favorite groups. Now uh, we go to uh, a comment made by Georgie Smith. All right. Now the comment is, and, and Georgie Smith is very well, very highly regarded by by all, all the peers in the Supercoach community. Very well spoken, very very knowledgeable young lady. Okay, now Georgie says uh, she thinks that Whitfield has been harshly done by the last two years because she has a point. To, she has a point here. A bruised liver is really serious and can be fatal. It takes eighteen months to fully recover, and to that bleeding in his lungs causing breathing problems for some time, amongst other problems. He would have been he would have been pushed on the wing to avoid as much physical contact as possible. So it's not a case of bur of burning anyone. Well, she makes really good points here. Okay, so he may have played out of position for these reasons. Okay, so maybe the coach did know what he was doing and put him there because the bloke's injured. Okay, I mean. These are serious injuries. Bruised liver, that's serious. And we saw Dusty with um, Bruce Kid uh, something happened to Dusty with kidneys, and he, he had a bad year. And this is Dusty, the best ever, <laughs> the GOAT. So imagine Lockie Whitfield. I mean, he's, he's a good player as well, but th th there are problems when you have serious injuries. So, and now he's recovered. It's taken two years. He's recovered from all his injuries. He's back to normal now. He can run again. So it could be a possibility that he'll be back. Okay, let's continue. So... Uh, injury could have affected him. Is another is another thing to think about. Could have could have affected him. Okay, that's something to consider because it's now it's been now been two years, so he, he should be okay now. Now, my recommendation to you, or uh, besides watching him very close uh, in the next two games and seeing his role and see if he's demanding that ball and running. That, that's his game. We need a minimum of 30 touches, and then he's going to go 100 plus. He norm he's normally very uh, good by disposal efficiency. He normally goes at about 70 plus. Now, the question now is, w w what would I recommend you to do? I'd say go with the hearts. This is a, this is an easy one. Go with the hearts, okay? Because if you get him now as a midfielder, you can move him to to the to the defence. You'll have a you'll have a six if he's good. All right, I'm, I'm not saying the way he is now, or the way he was last year. Just come it down. If he's good, and um, and he's going at one twenties, one tens, he'll be top. He'll be top six, and and you'll have him from the start at four seventy k. So this is the gamble you're taking. Um, so you have to go after hearts. Now, am I considering him? I am. I'm I'm considering him. I'm looking at him very close. All right, and you know I play crazy. All right, I'm a crazy man. <laughs> I don't play a super coach like normal people do. Civilized people play different, <laughs> and the crazy ones play different. Okay, I play very aggressive, so I'm I'm considering him, and uh, and we'll see how I want to watch the games. I'll do another review on him. Uh, well, you'll see when I do team reveals. If you see him in my team, that means I've, I'm satisfied with what I've seen. Okay, so stay tuned. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for joining, and.
remember one thing. It's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now.